in many problems that we're going to be facing, what we're given is curves in the space of dollars per bushels versus quantity. So this is things like average variable cost, marginal cost, price, The, the, all these variables, uh, and there are quite a few more, average total cost, for example, and, and so forth, that are dollars per bushel. And what we want to derive from that is a graph of profit versus quantity. This video is going to discuss four rules on how to do that, how to go from a graph of dollars per bushel versus quantity to a graph of profit, which of course is measured in dollars, not dollars per bushel, to quantity. The four rules on the left each start with a statement about profit. The first rule starts with profit's negative. Second rule, profit's decreasing. Third rule, profit at q equals zero. And fourth rule, profits less than minus fixed cost. So each one of these rules tells you something about profit, which is this graph. And the rules tell you when this happens. So the first rule tells you that profit is less than zero when this happens, when price is greater than average total cost. And, and that, price being greater than average total cost, is a statement about this graph because price and average total cost are both measured in dollars per bushel. The next statement, number two, tells you that happens when price is greater than marginal cost. And both of those are a statement about this graph, because marginal cost and price are measured in dollars per bushel. Uh, point number three is, is, is different. Uh, but point number four, profit is minus it is less than minus fixed cost when when price is greater than average variable cost which is again a statement about this graph because price and average variable cost are in this graph so except for rule number three which is the by far the easiest rule that we're going to deal with all the other rules are telling you uh, how to construct a graph of profit knowing something about uh, one of the curves in this dollars per bushel versus Q plane. Let's start with the note at the upper left. If a firm is competitive, then average revenue, which is total revenue divided by quantity by definition, is P times Q divided by quantity, and P is a constant. So the Qs cancel and you just get P. So if a firm is competitive, then average revenue is equal to price, and we also know from before that marginal revenue is equal to price. Neither of these are new results. We've, I, I've proved them before, but just to remember, if the firm is competitive, then average revenue is equal to price, and marginal revenue is equal to price. Point number one, profits less than zero when total revenue minus total cost, which is profit, is less than zero which happens when average revenue minus average total cost times Q. Now that might be hard to understand, but let's if you multiply that out, you get average revenue times Q minus average total cost times Q. And average revenue is just total revenue divided by Q. And average total cost is just total cost divided by Q. And you see that the Q's cancel, you get TR minus TC, which is where you started with. All right, so and that happens when get Q in this equation is, uh, here I'm not going to talk about Q equals zero, that's in point number three. So Q is going to be positive. So if you have AR minus ATC, 
times q being less than 0 and q is positive, the only way for that to be less than 0 is if the first term is less than 0. So that's what I wrote here. If average revenue minus average total cost is less than 0. And I mean, if it, well, that's right. Average revenue minus average total cost is less than 0, means average revenue is less than average total cost. And for a competitive firm, since we know that for our comp uh, that's the note at the very top of the page, the very top of the screen, that for a competitive firm, average revenue is the same as price. So we instead of writing average revenue here, we can just write price. So number one says profits less than zero if price is less than average total cost. And I didn't write it, but profits bigger than zero if price is bigger than average total cost. I erase some of my markings. Point number two, when is profit decreasing? It's a decreasing when marginal profit is less than zero, because if the marginal is less than zero, then uh, that, that's what it means to be decreasing. In other words, if profit is going down, that's because marginal profit is less than zero. In other words, it has a negative slope. Okay, so profit's decreasing and marginal profit's negative. And marginal profit is just marginal revenue minus marginal cost. We've seen that before because after all, profit is total revenue minus total cost, so marginal profit is marginal revenue minus marginal cost. All right, so in, in place of marginal profit, just write marginal revenue minus marginal cost. Add MC to both sides of the inequality and you get marginal revenue less than marginal cost. And for a competitive firm, from the note at the top of the page, we know that marginal revenue is the same as price. And so we get the bottom line here, that price is less than marginal cost. So profit is decreasing when price is less than marginal cost. Or another way to put it is when price is less than marginal cost, that's a signal that profit is going down. Next point is number three. Profit is equal to a uh, profit at q equals zero is minus fixed cost. That's if we wanted. To, I think we've proven that before, but just to do it again, that uh, at, q, at q equals zero, very you have no variable costs and no revenues. So that's why profit at q equals zero is minus fixed cost. Okay, so that's point number three. Point number four is a little complicated, but it actually echoes what we did when we were calculating the shutdown rule. So it starts by saying profit is less than minus fixed cost when profit, which is TR minus parentheses VC plus FC close, is less than minus fixed cost. So by moving the parentheses, TR minus VC minus FC is less than minus fixed cost. Add minus FC to both sides of the inequality. So you get TR minus VC is less than zero, which is the same as equation three of the previous video about the shutdown rule. Again, I want to break TR up into average revenue times Q and VC up into average variable cost times Q. That's similar to what I did up here. It's not exactly the same. The, the AR thing is exactly the same. Um, average revenue is total revenue divided by Q. The variable cost is just saying that average variable cost is defined to be variable cost divided by Q. So if you multiply both sides of this by Q, you get average variable cost times Q equals variable cost, and that justifies that step. So we are here right now. If I have average revenue minus average variable cost times Q being less than zero, and if Q is going to be positive because the Q equals zero case is covered in rule number three, then this thing has to be negative from which this follows. AR is less than AVC. For a competitive firm, as you know from the top of the page, price is less than average variable cost. 
which is the same as the question for the previous video. And finally, I have a note. If average revenue is less than average variable cost for all Q, you just have the shutdown rule again. Uh, you should shut down because profits less than minus fixed cost for all Q. Now, all this might be a little overwhelming at the beginning, but when we get practice, as we will soon, you'll see that it actually becomes easier to use. There are only four rules. The third rule is pretty trivial. At q equals zero, profit's always going to be minus fixed cost. In the long run, there are no fixed costs, and so profit's going to be zero. I don't think you need a separate rule for that. You just need to remember that. So we have three rules. R repetition might help here. So rule number one says profit is less than zero when price is less than average total cost. Rule number two says that profit is decreasing, it's falling, when price is less than marginal cost. And rule number four, th rule number three is too easy, rule number four says that profit is less than minus fixed cost when price is less than average variable cost. Okay, now, here I'm just talking about competitive firms. So this is the summary. You compare price to average total cost, to marginal cost, and to average variable cost. Of course, all these things have a flip side. Profit is greater than zero when price is greater than average total cost. Profit is rising when price is bigger than marginal cost. And profit is bigger than minus fixed cost when price is bigger than average variable cost. So these are the rules along with rule number three that we'll be using in order to go from graphs like this which are expressed in terms of dollars per bushel to the total profit graphs.